and some way the indian science communication congress is helping us not only, not only <coughs> networking the people who matter in science communication but the people who matter in science in communication so that we can bring the both the disciplines together that is science meets communication so that's why we are here for the common cause a lot of us are really concerned as uh, was expressed here uh, by the preceding experts we are concerned for the status of science communication we are concerned with the least coverage of science in mass media we are concerned for the superstitious beliefs which are prevalent is still prevalent in various parts of the country and we are concerned with the low scientific literacy rate do literacy is progressing now it's an opportunity to invite and involve the people from various cross sections of the knowledge disciplines various domain areas because as uh, our chief guest honorable shri tarun gogoi ji chief minister of assam he has told that in totality i think we need to synchronize the efforts we need to synchronize the disciplines only then only then we can bring science closer to the society for the well being of the common man that is the end user the end beneficiary of the scientific developments whatever scientists are doing in their laboratories uh as a matter of fact we at uh, nccc the national council for science and technical communication we are working towards bridging the gap between science and society through various programs be it training for developing trained men power in the country through various science communication courses short term courses long term courses medium term courses through various universities and institutions or some field programs or in involving children like children science congress i am happy to remind you that uh, gohati has hosted twice our national children science congresses first time in 1995 and second time in 2004 after a gap of 9 years so i think gohat uh, assam and northeast uh, has become now it is a vibrant area as far as science communication is concerned and when i came here uh, uh, something like two decades ago uh, the state of affairs was entirely different and now i am witnessing the progressive changes that are occurring over the period are very satisfactorily and i think through uh, the local bodies like kk hendek universities Cotton College, Guwahati University, State Council of Science and Technology, ASTEC, NGOs. Uh, I am quite confident that we will be we will be able to <coughs> bring about such changes which are required to bring the smiles on the face of the people of Northeast and so as the other parts of the country. Well, uh, we have been discussing how to communicate science to the common man. and for that purpose we have been using mass media we have been blaming mass media also for not giving adequate coverage for science and technology but we need to uh, have some retrospection whether uh, we are doing much justice with the science communication stuff we blame that media is giving more coverage for the political news for the crime reporting sports business glamour and even dharma channel are also <coughs> flourishing nowadays can we stop that we are living in a democratic setup they also have the similar right as we have we cannot stop that rather we cannot continue blaming that also at the same time but what best we can do in the situation we can make our contributions more competitive because we are living in a business driven world as dr b p sanjay has rightly mentioned and we have to compete with them we have to develop the capacity among us us among us the science communicators science writers science journalists and those who are concerned for science communication and for the state of science communication in the country it is a challenge for us let us take the challenge let us make our product more competitive 
so that we can compete with these six disciplines that is political news, criminal crime reporting, dharma channel, sports, business and glamour. I think there are takers of science and technology also and it is evident from the various TV channels like Discovery Channel. It is very popular. People are fed up with what has been <coughs> provided through various channels and various media, media groups uh, for a long time. Now if you visit some homes, you will find that children are watching uh, Discovery Channel. They are watching Animal Planet Channel. They are uh, watching National Geographic. So see, here is the quality. So if we are able to bring out, bring about that kind of quality, I think we would be able to compete with various other disciplines which are flooded in the mass media and we will find enough coverage of science and technology also in the mass media. So this is the time, let us forge ahead uh, various channels of communication, make our communication more com competitive, make our communication more comprehensible to the common man. I think these are the <coughs> challenges of the hour. We must accept and we must collectively try to address that. And this is the forum that we have been able to create something like uh, nine years before. And next year we are entering into the 10th the uh, year of this Indian Science Communication Congress. And the idea emerged because uh, sometime uh, when we have a science writer's workshop or we have a seminar or we have some other activity, but it was very difficult to bring the scientists and the communicator and the media, com media uh, uh, community together. Because as a matter of fact, there is a growing concern over the conflicts between science and journalists, the world over. This is not the case in India, but across the world, this is what is happening in terms of science communication and that is hindering the science communication efforts all across the world. Because scientists generally, they are not media savvy and the media persons at the same time, unfortunately, they are not science savvy, although there are exceptions. Some scientists are very good communicators. At the same time, some media persons are very good science journalists and science writers, but we cannot expect from all the scientists to communicate with the public because they find it difficult when it comes to public communication of science and technology. Of course, they can write very good science research papers, they can deliver very good technical lectures, but when it comes to communicating with the people, they find it really very difficult. And they generally don't uh, give it more priority because their priority is doing research in the laboratory, writing research paper, and that will add to their domain knowledge. Similarly, if you ask a journalist why you are not covering the science stories, the journalists have their own priority. The media groups, they have their own priority. Science comes very at later stage for, for, for science coverage. And even if a science journalist, if you, are, if you compel them, they will feel this is not their cup of tea. Writing science is not, not their cup of, cup of tea. It is to be done by the scientists. At the same time, scientists also feel this is not their cup of tea. It should be, science should be written or communicated by the journalists. Then from where the, the people will come from? That's why we have devised this platform so that we can sit together, we can express our views and we can build some bridges so that there can be some consensus. Okay, it's a collective responsibility of the scientists, of the media persons, of the journalists to educate the people, to make the people aware, to make best use of the scientific knowledge that we are creating in the laboratories. When it comes to make best use of the knowledge, there comes the role of the scientific temperament. That was introduced first by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, our first Prime Minister. It's a doctrine how to resolve problems, how to reach conclusions. It's a whole methodology that we call as method of science, scientific methodology. It includes curiosity, collection of information, then analysis, experimentation, and then reaching to the conclusion. But every time we, we, don't, uh, we, we don't allow ourselves to follow this process and we tend to jump to conclusions and that is a great mistake we are continuing in our society while taking even small or big decisions because our decisions which we are taking today are going to impact our tomorrow and the future of our children and the grandchildren subsequently. So more important is to take the right kind of decision at the right point of time. For taking the right kind of decision at the right point of time, I believe two elements are are crucial. One, the information. 
and here more precisely the scientific information, the scientific knowledge, and the other is the scientific temperament, the attitude, the inability to take a decision that is more rational, that is more logical, without any fear, without any bias, and without any prejudice. So, knowledge is one, knowledge is important, but more important is to make best use of that knowledge. Scientific temperament enables us to make best use of that knowledge that we have acquired over the period. So, a blend of scientific knowledge and scientific temperament holds the key for overall development. And I think uh, this Indian Science Communication Congress offers a platform. We will be debating, deliberating, expressing, learning, contributing. I think a lot of can happen between these three, four days. I think especially I must urge our young students because they are the, uh, they are the, uh, they will take the message across uh, from here and uh, I request them, they must learn, they must debate, they must question, ask questions to the experts. Whenever, whenever there is a presentation, you ask questions and seek the answers. You have cross question, but don't uh, enter into conflicts. While asking question, if you ask question once, it's question. If you again ask the same thing with some twist, it's a supplementary question. If you continue again, it's a cross question. If you further continue, you are entering into debate. If you further continue, you are entering into conflict. If you further continue, you are entering into fight. So don't go for that. There, there are certain procedures for asking questions, follow these procedures and enjoy this 9th Indian Science Communication Congress that uh, has been put together by the NCSCC and KK Hendrick Open University and uh, <coughs> we, have, uh, we, we are confident that, that it is going to address uh, many problems, it is going to uh, bring out some recommendation which uh, will form uh, part of the policy matters so that uh, we can develop, we can decide and uh, we can <coughs> have some new policies for strengthening science communication program of the country. Once again, I thank one and all. Thank you very much.